that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. As soon as WHO declared coronavirus a pandemic, the demand for masks increased rapidly. But wait, can masks really protect you from coronavirus? To know the answer, you should know the various ways through which the virus spreads. The primary way the virus spreads is through respiratory droplets. When you speak, there are always droplets coming out of your mouth. Many people have an asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic infection. If you are wearing face mask, it can prevent droplets that carry the virus from escaping and infecting others. The virus can also spread through aerosol transmission, which is a process by which respiratory droplets are turned into very small and light particles, probably less than 5 micrometers, which can hang in the air for longer. The other route that plays a role in the spread of COVID-19 is contact transmission. In such a situation, the viral particles emitted from the respiratory tract of an infected individual land on a surface. Then, another person touches that object, then touches their nose, mouth or eyes. The virus can sneak into the body via the mucous membranes and thus infecting the second person. What can protect us from this deadly virus? And how do masks give us a protective layer? Let's see how do different types of masks offer different levels of protection. The researchers at Florida Atlantic University looked at the effectiveness of different face coverings. The CDC recommends wearing a mask in public to prevent you from spreading COVID-19 to other people and also to give you some protection against those people who could be coughing or sneezing and spraying respiratory droplets 12 feet across the room right into your nose. Talking about the surgical mask or often called medical mask, it is a loose-fitting disposable mask which protects the wearer's nose and mouth from contact with droplets and splashes that may contain germs. Laboratory testing has found that surgical masks block 75% of respiratory droplet-sized particles. They are designed to protect people from the wearer. Because they fit loosely, the wearer can still breathe in unfiltered air from the sides. To get rid of this problem, there is a mask which provides accurate protection from the virus, which is a N95 mask. This mask is actually a type of respirator as it offers more protection to both the wearer and other people than a surgical mask does because it filters out 95% of both large and small particles. But they are in short supply and should be reserved for healthcare workers and emergency responders. Cloth masks are easy to find and can be washed and reused. As for cloth masks, the protection depends on the fabric they are made out of and how well they fit. But you can create a cloth mask that offers protection to the wearer about 30 to 50 percent or even more. Study shows that the two-layered cloth masks are most effective after N95 masks. With cloth masks, droplets can travel up to three feet and it works better if the people around you are also wearing cloth face coverings and are six feet away from you. The normal cloth face coverings are effective at preventing the spread of COVID-19 if we all wear them. The biggest limitation to their effectiveness is inconsistent mask use. Masks do not offer full protection, but some protection is better than none. Masks cannot replace all the other approaches needed to fight the coronavirus, like washing your hands, not touching your face and social distancing. But when paired with all these other ways of protection, and when used correctly, masks offer an extra layer of protection. If everyone is doing it, we all protect each other. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time.